Hello everybody and welcome back to another of Diggy's videos where no war game remains unplayed and here we are further ado, Field of Glory 2 Rise of Persia, another sneak peek at uh, the upcoming DLC. But today we're gonna change the we're gonna have change that have a variety. We're gonna be playing on deity. There is uh, as you know on Steam uh, achievements and etc. There is one for beating the game on uh, deity level. Um, and we're going to try that today um, and see if we can actually beat it and on Rise of Persia as well. So we're going to get a sneak peek plus um, literally uh, see if I can beat a computer on the hardest computer. I've not actually played the uh, computer on the deity uh, setting before so this is going to be a new challenge. The computer is pretty difficult as he is, never mind uh, being on the hardest difficulty. But we'll see if we can outwit them uh, and out something them anyway. So we're playing a medium battle. We're going to play something we've not um, played before. Ooh, ooh, not too sure what to play. Um, Elamai. I don't think I've played Elamai. So I'm not entirely sure where they're based. Uh, but with the power of the internet, um, we'll find out where they are. We know where Persians are from anyway, because that's all east. Um, so it's a pre-Iranian civilization, apparently. Elamite Empire. The military empire shrinks rapidly um, from first of Babylon. Attacked by the Elmwoods, just barely beaten off. And second Babylonian attack. So, wow, we're pre Iranian. So, around Iran. So, we're going to play the Elamite version, the Persians. And remember, guys, we are on um, deity uh, difficulty. Uh, I've not played these before, so this is as it goes Elamite versus the Persians. We know what the Persians are going to bring a lot of infantry, uh, mixed bow. Spear and sword. Elamite system of inheritance of power distribution, normal pattern of government. I'm reading a wiki pages at the moment in time. Um, ooh, quite interesting. We'll, we'll have a see what they could bring to the battlefield. And so against the Persian Empire. And we have a lot of massed archers. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. Wow. Uh, so looking at this, we have, to the left, we have a Elamite chariot. So I'm disordered in that um, in that thing as well. But we're going to go out of it anyway. So we've got uh, it's a light chariots, below average, with bows. So harassment. And then we've got some on the left, on the right even, sorry. Um, we've got massed archers, which are below average, unprotected. And we've got a lot of them. A lot of massed archers. Uh, we'll do fill it, these guys fill into the left. And we have one unit of Assyrian style medium foot. So that's a mix of bows, light spear and swordsmen. And then a lot more archers of course. So we are definitely a firing force here. So there's our forces. Uh, we're going to go strong left with all the chariots. Uh, and then it's going to be a just a wall of archers. Hopefully to shoot the living bejesus out of this Persian empire. But after do, let's see if we can beat the Persians. See what they bring to the field. Holy mollies. Like I said, guys, just a lot of infantry. Uh, they've brought uh, Sabira Bara foot, so like I said, bow, light spear, and sword. Uh, so this is going to be a firing match. Who can outfire each other? This is the question. So first of all, they ain't going to move. I know that, sure. I f they're just, we're going to have to take the fight right to them. Uh, and these chariots will hit to the left. The reason I chose the left is because there's more open ground. Uh, I don't like that marsh or that enclosure. We get anywhere near that, we're, we're stuffed. At least with the hills, the woods, it's impassable uh, uh, to uh, chariots. So there we go to the left with the chariots. So we are mm, we're medium foot or light or bowmen, so we won't be affected by the rough terrain. And that's turn. Do the Persians commit? Of course not. We've got to be still be careful of the Iranian cavalry and the raw. Oh, they've got some raw hoplites in the rear, which I'm not particularly afraid. I'm, I think I can definitely shoot them up. And yet again, it is just a full advance uh, to get into bow range, and then it will let the dogs of war around. If we can kite these two units, this infant cavalry away, we will, uh, and then we can shoot it up and then disband it. So. I'm not going to go just yet. I need everybody to get all there. So here they are. They have opened it up with the charge from the light troops. And everything has come in straight away to meet me here. I have the numbers. But do I have the grits? This is going to happen. But of course now we're going to return fire. We'll have a hell of a lot more shots. Oh. 
Let's concentrate on that left guy there who's going to take a feasting. I think I can hit the guy on the flank. We should really be concentrating on the uh, troops here, but anyway, we move forward. We are going to get shot up uh, even worse. Oh, delivering a 22 disorder. And yes, sir, we will turn to fire. And we're going to keep that formation, I think. And then we're just going to advance slowly with these chariots. See if we can kite forward this unit here. I think we're going to move closer. And we will turn slightly there and far away. And that's turn, I think. I think we're confident in that. But we'll see what happens. And they're retreating back. They go to charge. Brave souls. And this line disrupting the Persian. The Persian to opt to go to the left side to meet my extended left flank. Uh, so this may give me a good enveloping force, but that cavalry there is going to be um, an absolute beast to kill. Could probably get them disrupted archers which are stuck there. Wow. Unfortunately, I moved there when I didn't mean to. Well, these guys, oh, I think they might actually win. Nope, they aren't going to win. Ha! Oh, bringing the pain down of them. So turn. Turn and shoot with 2 to 24, but it's long range, so I think we're going to turn. And disrupting. Brilliant. Remove these archers forward. And they're going to hit that disrupted unit a bit more. I think we are going to charge here. And unfortunately we don't actually win. <laughs> and firing away at this one unit here just to break them out of the way. And there's the auto break, brilliant. And advance forward hit, can start picking on the javelin and get this easy kill straight away. Moving here and turning to the left. Uh, chariots have no, literally, hope of winning. But, we are going to pick at them. Is that going to disorder me? No, it isn't. So we will pepper them away. And pepper away here. And I would like to pepper away at somebody who's disordered or going to break. Which unfortunately is nobody. If I move here, will I be able to get them? Nope. If I go here, we will for two, but that's not worth it. I'll just turn around and shoot the javelin man, I guess. And that is turn. All archers moved up. And the light archers disappearing. Alright, hold tight for the hail of fire. Now there's the charge and the evade. This Assyrian style infantry is really good. Really good. Bow and things. So the Persians opting to go to my left flank. Disrupting the cavalry there. And disrupting the chariot in the cohesion test. So flying straight to left gives me enveloping the right side, hopefully. Come back there with the light javelin and the light uh, archers. Oh, feel the pain. 
and there goes the uh, <laughs> archers. And my archers are fleeing. So let's see who we can pick on. I'm expecting a charge here will be very well. It, it, it will. And we're going to fire away. I've got one unit in the front, hopefully trying to pick it off and causing a disruption. I'm sure that was already disrupted. That was that unit there that was disrupted, but we'll still fire away at it. The charge, not even worth the paper it's written on. And let's move to the left side and pick on some of these Iranian units or and disrupting them there. Brilliant. And to the foot troops in the rear. And an auto break for the archers. Going to move these guys out of the way because they're going to just be silly for this next turn. So I'm going to move them there so we've got a good target. Which have a oh, I didn't see them Persian immortals in the rear. I did not see them, so they're, the must they're definitely the elites. Wow, they're pretty, pretty unit. And let's un let's now fire everything we can. Tempted to the charge. And firing away, we're going to hit these units on the side. Hopefully to cause them disorder. And we do. And we do charge in here, I think. And a very indecisive charge. Hopefully we can break these eastern archers now. And a fallback. Can we actually come over here and shoot over our heads? No, we can't. Sad to say, but that's turn. We could lose these archers here. But a fallback ensues. And turn done. And a rally for them. The Persians not wanting to charge with the disruptor troops, which is good for me. So it gives me plenty of time to shoot them. They're picking on that one left unit, which is good. And they seem to be ignoring my flank on the right. Uh, so I shall just fire away and the chariot's evading. Uh, which is good, because they'll turn around and just fire. I like them light chariots. And the mast archers getting javelined there. Here come the rain of arrows again. Oh, that's painful. And the foot there are now disor uh, disordered. So here we are. We're going to just continue to fire away. I think we shall just move here. We'll start picking on these immortals in the rear. And this cavalry, because it's going to be awfully... Uh, problem at some point. Who is disordered? These guys are disordered. We're going to keep picking on them. And anybody around. Pick on this one unit who's closer. Looking for a good disorder here. Oh, welcome. Welcome to Iran. Population you. And we're going to start picking off the cavalry, I think. And expertly doing that. Very good there. What's the turn? What's there? We'll fire straight. And luckily we did, because that was a disruption on their part. Hopefully breaking this foot unit here, nearly doing that, so we'll advance these here and have another shot at this foot guys. We need to get these up to start actually using them. And that's turn, very good turn here, shit on them up. But rallies, rallies all around.
And the massage to the left now broken. Chariot's now taking the full frontal of that attack. And the chariot's evading again, and evading, and evading, and a break actually, uh, due to the uh, due to the cavalry uh, having free overcharges. Oh, this is certainly an archer fight. Looking for a break and hopefully some cohesion tests here. And, of course, we'll just turn the chariots around and they will just sh shoot them in the face. As so. And a disruption. Brilliant. Hopefully a break here and then some rally tests for the enemy forces here. And, yes, that was good. So turn to 18. Oh, there's no point moving. I don't want to move. Just for the amount of damage I can dish out in one turn. And we need to spot that unit in combat. I know it's a bit of a brave rush. I'm going to have to turn that way and shoot. behind are fragmented but I can't actually shoot them which is very sad. And forward here and we shoot the fragmented troops. This carabine um, disordered has helped me out a lot. So there we go, that's top of the turn. Not too sure what's going to happen. I'm losing 8% at the moment in time, but they've lost, got a lot of leadership checks to make, and before they've been really good at making them. Disrupting the arranged style troops, which is not good, because that is my key unit in that left flank. And the hoplites charge. They're going to have their problem side. They're going to be... Oh, trying to shoot the chariot, but the chariots shoot a lot harder. Actually, not a bad turn there. I think them having a lot of disruptor troops has lessened their effectiveness. Okay, so we're going to turn around and shoot the hoplites and this Iranian cavalry. Ha, 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 ha. And not having that much ammo is slowly starting to affect my combat effectiveness. We're going to move here and shoot the hopper lights, I think. The chariots are going to shoot away. Oh, the char chariots are so dirty. <laughs> they are dirty. Oh, the low ammo. The low ammo. Now we're just going to stay and shoot. That's all we can do. And a fantastic disruption there. And what's the 4 to 14 or 2 to 10? I think 4 to 14, please. Fortunately, I've messed that up. And I put them on the flank of them, Hoplite, but that is turn regardless. I've still got some cavalry in the rear, which is just holding back. And here comes the charges, which probably will be very on their side, and it is. 
And there's the charge. Hopefully they're going to stick around. And no, yes, they, it's a very indecisive battle there. The chariot's now taking some of the fire, so they're starting to move to the left, which is less of their firing um, their targets. And they like to charge again. I might have to charge my uh, lie archers in there. Not a fantastic Persian turn, really. Very ineffective, in my opinion. And a rally. Brilliant. Even a, that's good for me. And the chariots will fire away again. But with ammunition being low. And a break there. Fantastic. And we need to help them out because they are going to lose horribly. And it disrupts them. And we're going to shoot the Iranian armored cavalry up. And shooting the uh, hoplites at the same time. And we're going to pummel their left flank now. God, every man of that last man, is he going to break him? should have moved to win, but I think the guys on the left are definitely running away, and they are. But holding firm there regardless. And a draw, and that's turn. Will there be enough archer on this left side? And enemy reinforcements have arrived. But maybe too little too late here. And here comes the charge of the Hoplites, which is going to hurt me so badly. Mm, the Iranian armored cavalry is coming down. Oh! Disrupting two units there on the chariot. And is that them off? And it is. Is that going to cause any... No, because the light troops don't be affected. And that chariot is all the way off now. And a rally there for me. Fantastic. Same time, units will flee. 6%. Um, I'm going to have to support them, because otherwise they are going to die horribly. And we're going to have to turn one unit around to do a flank charge. If they can... Yeah, they can charge. And we're just going to fire away. Until they break. And that is their break. And then we're on to the next unit. Uh, which is fragmented them. So we'll see if we can break them easily easier with these guys in the front. start forming up to the left side now. Come this side so we can hopefully turn. What is that though? Zero to four. And a break. Brilliant. Causing any issues and disrupting the spearman in the centre. Give me maybe a slight advantage here. But not enough good advantage. What if we come out this side? Or if we come out this side, can we shoot anybody? No, I don't think we can. Come out that way. And turn around to shoot the... Uh... No, that's a bad charge. And we're just going to come in here and just shoot some more up. They're definitely gone. Hopefully not disrupting them. Holding firm, and that's turned. That's all I can do. Just slightly ahead here. Seven percent is nothing in this game. <coughs> With the force I have, it's very difficult. I don't know how, how to win this. And there's that charge. Hopefully, I'm just gonna win. And an auto break. That was unlucky. 
I can remember. <laughs> Definitely going to lose that. Nope, indecisive. And then the chariot goes on the left. Ganked by archers and they're gone. <laughs> Sad to say, these guys cannot do anything apart from just turn and face and shoot. Mm, can't see anybody there. Two units to face these light horse archers. Oh, is it? Oh, goal. Zero. Are we? I think we're nearly out of ammo. Does it get even better if I get closer? No, it doesn't. And that's all we can do. And a rally there for the Persians on the north. Oh, that's not good. More enemy reinforcements and they charge in. Bravely. Are these guys out of ammo? Yeah, these guys are all out of ammo as well. So it's... I think if I can pick on that one unit of fragmented troops at the rear. These guys could get broken. And they pick on the fleeing troops. And far away. That's all we can do. I didn't even see these stats there. Zero four to four for eighteen. Ooh. Not they need some help. And let's advance to the right and hope to pick on that last unit that's about to break for to 14. 2 to 10 on the guys who are disrupted. And that's turn. Can I just hold on this 1% or get a f sneaky uh, a rally there for them? Pushing me into the losing streak. And they charge again, but they evade. be a break just straight there. Everybody else holding firm. And the cavalry charging the chariot. Oh that Iranian cavalry is looking mean. And out of range. What's the range? Not as much as I wanted it to be. And into the disruptor troops for what it's worth. Mm. 
zero to six, two to ten. Hopefully, pick off some of these archer units that come attacking me. Oh, ammo is so low. And that is turn, nothing else I can do. 8% loss. Oh, it's going to be a horrendous loss. I'm going to push back. Not too bad, hopefully a push back here. And unfortunately, they are not going to end well for them. best bet is trying to break one of the fragmented units and then to cause some rail penalty. And the Master Archers disappearing. Oh, that's going to disorder me though. For nothing. It's not going to be anything, is it? Let's get the chariot here then, ready for the charge next turn. Oh my word, nothing. Sorted unit I'm trying to break. Thank you. It's not a bad charge, actually. I'm tempted by some of these charges. Oh, Black Cavalry is going to right me in the side. So it's going to be a no for this turn. <sighs> How didn't they break? Oh, the chariot taking a hit in there. Sad to say, a rally? Was that the guy who was fragmented? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was the guy who was disrupted. I think we have to go and try and charge some of these units. And the chariot breaking, give them 13%. Oh, wow, that camera's going to stuff me now. will drop. <laughs> Gotta try it, 8%. Can we break these as well? Oh, we do. Definitely lost it. And that's turn.
The hail of arrows. It's going to break me for five. Oh, wow, that's going to change the game a little bit. Chariot changing that up. I think we have just been pipped to the post here a little bit. Chat would overcharge then. That's a turn, I think that's game after this. That unit's definitely gone there. They've rallied all the way back up to uh, being nothing. how much going to affect it. And there you go. Hitting our breaking point. Twice. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a fantastic um, battle between the Elamite and the Persian. Sad to say, even on deity I got whooped that was so close towards the end but end of the day the Persians just literally outflanked me there and there's nothing much I could do about it so there you go guys it's been Field of Glory 2 uh, Rise of Persia I've been Dickie don't forget that like and subscribe button and I shall see you on the next battlefield wherever that may be bye bye folks <laughs>